what do you got for us? What's your name, please? Um, so my name is Max, and I'm from Walpole. And um, I was wondering if you had any advice for young players that wanted to get better at soccer. That's not for me. That's for Brandon, I believe. <laughs> Hi, Max. Um, I would say I would say play as much soccer as possible. Honestly, um, you know, I was I was lucky enough to to play club soccer growing up. Um, to, to enjoy you know the game in, in many different ways. I played other sports in, in other you know seasons, but you know I played a lot of soccer, juggling in, in my front yard, um, you know playing with my sisters. Uh, sometimes that went well, sometimes it didn't. Um, but yeah, playing as much as possible, honestly. Um, and then and then you know just working really hard. Honestly, I think it's it's a uh, it's a step by step process, and, and you have to go through you know each step, but but just enjoying the process, really um, enjoying you know each step you take and. And you know, I still enjoy you know rolling the ball out and, and playing with my team. Um, you know, when I do, so I think that's that's really important too. Gotta love it. Thanks, Max. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt knows as much as anybody about player development. Why don't you tell him? I would just make sure you just continue to have fun. And uh, every time I got off the field, my mom said, "I love you, and, and you're so handsome." So <laughs> make, make sure as a, as, a, as a parent, you you love your kid and you tell them they're doing well because. My dad was intense and was all over it, and my mom was always like, you were so great, regardless of how well I played. But just enjoy it. I, I, just to close it, I think touch the ball again. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the one sport that I have to say you have no chance to make it unless you're good technically. So you could be a really good athlete, you know, and in some sports you can have a chance if you're a really good athlete. But, it's, but if you're a really good athlete and you can't control the ball, if you don't have a mastery of the ball, you can't play this sport. And you can't cut corners with that. That's just time. It's hours, hours a day. If you went across the board with all of our players in the locker room and you asked them how many hours they spent playing with the ball individually or playing pickup soccer, they would all tell you probably two hours a day. Every day, it's the 10,000 hour formula. You know, if you add that up, it's like, I did it once, I think it's like six days a week for 14 years, two hours a day. It's a lot of hours. So, it takes a lot of time. And, and so, spend time with the ball. Hit it against the wall, play soccer, tennis, juggle, dribble, play pickup.